we're next up with polar distance. Everybody's favorite distance formulas. Now, the distance formula we're going to use here, just to give you kind of a, a sneak peek, we're going to end up using the law of cosines. Now, I'm going to take two points. I'm going to take a point right here, and I'm going to take a point right here. And where's my straight edge? It's got to be around here somewhere. If I take I'll use this. This is much better. Eh, you can't really see it. We'll see the next one. Sorry, I'm kind of jumbled around here. But this is the picture you need to make. And then we're going to connect these two points right here. And this point, that's 30 degrees. So this point's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 30 degrees. So I know that's 30 degrees. 1, 2, 3, 4. No, nope. didn't pick the best points. But this would be 180. That's 150 degrees. Because I know that's 180. So that's 15. That's 30. Now, what I need to know is this angle right here. So I have 30 degrees here. I have 30 degrees here. So I have 60 degrees total that aren't taken up out of the 180. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 180 minus 60, and I'm going to get 120 degrees. But also, you could have taken 150 minus 30 and gotten your 120 degrees. So what we have here now is we have a triangle that's 120 degrees, and that's 4, and that's 4, and I want that value x. Now, this is side angle side. And when we have a triangle with side angle side and we want this other side, we're going to end up using the law of cosines. The law of cosines is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of angle c. Well, in this picture, this is my c, that's a, that's b and that's angle C. So I'm able to come up with x squared is equal to 4 squared, which is my a, plus 4 squared from here, and I probably should have picked better numbers, but life continues, 2 times my a, which is 4, my b, which is 4, and then the cosine of 120 degrees. Now, we have a big, nice square root symbol going on here. Or we have a, uh, a square, rather. It's early. We're going to take the square root of this whole thing. And remember what my philosophy is on doing any math before the end. I say do the algebra first and foremost. Set it up, because we have to wonderful technology that will take care of all of this all by itself. So I'm going to turn this guy on. Might not be the best to see. I tried to make the fonts as big as I can. Put the square root in there. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Then you put 4 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 4 times 4 times the cosine of 120 degrees 
And that's not right. 2.4383, blah, 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 blah. Now, what's the reason why it's not right? I'll give you guys a second to think about that. You can pause it. I'll give you 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, calculator set in radians. That's not good because we're working in degrees. So what I'm going to do is hit control escape, get back in here, go into here, and the pi button way down at the bottom here is going to give you all sorts of the fancy stuff that we need. And I needed degrees. So I need to tell the calculator that, hey, that's 120 degrees, and now I have 6.9282. So my x value here is going to be 6.9282. So make sure that you, if your calculator is in radians, and you can always check to see if your calculator is in radians by going home, not home, but going to the home key, the home screen, hit settings, and hit document settings angles are in radians we usually keep the angles in radians and then when we have to type in degrees just hit the pi key and go to degree and put it in degrees and then no one has to worry about anything now to kinda make sure to kinda check to see that everything's going all nice here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure in centimeters and I know it's not gonna be 100% but it looks like about 4.5 centimeters if I go from a pole about 4.5 centimeters is gonna get me way out here and if that's one two three four five six almost seven I'm happy because that's exactly what I think is gonna be true in that case so we're good to go the whole idea is you have to find this angle right here that's 120 degrees. That's X. Use the law of cosines. You are golden like the T, they say. Golden T. You know the golf video game? Okay. All right, I digress. Good luck. And make sure when you're using your calculator that you put the degrees in there and that you actually put the multiplication in between those. Calculators touch you that way. But, eh. You do what you gotta do.